to my channel, hope you've all had a wonderful day. Today's video is going to be pretty short and sweet, it's a reading wrap up for June. Um, so I took part in the Make Your Myth Taker readathon, so it's going to be an update for that as well. Um, and in that readathon you were supposed to read four books. I didn't complete it. I have to be 100% honest with you guys, I didn't complete it. So the books I'd actually planned to read were... Um, In of Blighton, The Enchanted Wood, which I did read, I don't have the book here because I donated it. Um, and I only gave that two stars because I actually found it a really difficult read. Um, even though it's a children's book, I found it a really hard one. Um, just because we were all over the place. Because um, you go to the top of the faraway tree and then you go to a different land. Um, which I imagine as a child would be absolutely amazing, but I just felt like I was thrown all over the place. Um, so yeah, I only gave that on two stars. Um, I was also meant to read Knife um, by RJ Anderson um, and I didn't get to it. I hit a bit of a slump, if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, I didn't get to this one and I was also supposed to be reading... Um, oh, I can't remember which one it was, but it's not, it's not on my shelf. I don't know what I've done with it. Um, but it's a, a Twisted Tale. Uh, Disney Twisted Tale um, and I didn't get to that either and the reason for that is I was reading Band of Brothers by Stephen E. Ambrose um, and it threw me into such a slump I've yeah I mean I'm still struggling now two weeks into July to actually pick up a book that I want to read um, I found it an interesting book but I think the way it was written for me, I just found really difficult and I pushed myself on to finish it um, because I wanted to do the readathon. And I really wish I hadn't. I really wish I'd just decluttered it and, you know, DNF'd it and found something different. And then maybe I wouldn't feel so poopy about reading right now. Um, but I gave it three stars because it wasn't terrible. It just. The prompt it filled was to pick a book out of your comfort zone, and it really was, and I, yeah, I didn't love it. So, yeah, that's my reasons for that. Um, so I only actually read, like, a few more books. How many did I read? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so in the whole of June, I only read seven books, um, purely because I just hit that slump with Band of Brothers, and, yeah, I was a goner. <laughs> So the first book I actually read in the month, um, I listened to via audiobook, and it was Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Um, and it's written a little bit like Dracula in the sense most of it is done via letters. In fact, it might all be done via letters um, to like one or two different characters within the book. Um, so then it tells you the story of Frankenstein and his monster. Um, and I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good story i've not i knew the premise for the story but i'd never actually read the book or listened to it i've seen a few different films that have done the frankenstein portrayal in different ways um but yeah i really enjoyed the book i gave it three stars um just because there was some some of the language was a little bit i didn't really get it <laughs> so yeah there were a few bits i got a bit confused but other than that it was pretty good i enjoyed it um, the next one I actually read was um, Roald Dahl's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, I loved Willy Wonka as a kid um, and I like the Johnny Depp version as well. Um, so for this one I gave it four stars because I think it's one of those ones that if it's a story you know from your childhood you can have a little bit of a soft spot for it. So yeah, I gave this one four stars. And then I read um, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, and I have to be honest, I really didn't enjoy it. I finished it, um, but it just wasn't really what I was expecting, I don't know why, um, but it wasn't what I was expecting. I didn't feel like it really fit in with, you know, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I do get it's a completely different story. But it just wasn't for me so I actually only gave this two stars I found it really confusing and I just yeah I think because I wasn't expecting it to be how it is I didn't enjoy it so there's that um I also read well I listened to again 
on Libby, um, the Brothers Grimm, Grimm Fairy Tales. I really enjoyed that actually. Again, one I wasn't expecting, but it came out on top for me. Um, and yeah, the, the stories just end in really obscure ways that you don't know from watching, you know, the Disney interpretation of it or other fairy tale books that make it nice. These are as brutal as they should be. Um, because I believe fairy tales were always supposed to be frightening or supposed to be a little bit scary um, for children so that they didn't, they weren't naughty or something like that. I'm sure I read that somewhere. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. Um, so yeah, I read that and I gave that three stars. And then me and Nikki finally finished um, Becca Fitzpatrick's finale. Um, so this is the final book in the Hush Hush series. Again, you follow Nora and Patch through um, their, obviously their struggles and their life and trying to be together, even though they're from different races. And I have to say, I only gave it three stars and I did enjoy it, but it seemed to take such a long time to get from where we started in the story to where it ended and I feel like it probably could have been done a lot quicker. Um, I felt like there were just random bits in the middle to kind of fluff it out a bit, make it a bit longer. Um, but by the time we got to the end I did, I did really like the way it ended. We do lose one of the main characters um, which did make me feel pretty sad. I was not happy about that. Um, but I did like it, like the way it ended. I am always very much, even when I read a contemporary, sorry, I've got an itchy nose. Um, even when I read a contemporary, I am very much, I want the couple, if it takes forever for the couple to be together and be happy, I want a bit more when they actually get together because I feel like I've gone through the whole book waiting for them to finally be able to be in love and be all happy and then the book ends and I'm left with oh great you guys got together and that's that's it where's where's what you do now that's just my I know the story is them being together but I like to have a bit more so yeah they finally you know got together everything was hun hunky-dory um and there's obviously a few different things that happen at the end um that sort of tell you a little bit about what they're up to now but it just wasn't enough. I loved Patch and Nora when they were together, but the two of them being apart for majority of the four books just stressed me out no end. Um, yeah, they're, they're books I probably won't keep, but I did, I did love the journey, let's put it that way. So yeah, I will probably be donating these. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely recommend a read if you're into that kind of cheesy, twilightiness then definitely give it a go they they were a decent read Nora becomes slightly annoying she just does I can't describe it but I felt the same about Bella I felt like she was really annoying at certain parts so yeah I definitely recommend it just don't get your hopes up it is just that cheesy fluffy YA romance with a little bit of turmoil in amongst it um but yeah they were the books I read for June. <sighs> there weren't that many and I feel sad about it because I have all of these to read. Mm -hmm. um, but I have my readathon this month with the lovely Nikki so that's five books. I haven't started any of them yet so yeah hopefully I'll have a decent update for you um, at the end of July but I'm not making any promises. <laughs> but yeah that's everything for me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's so short and sweet. But I just didn't read that much. Um, and it's all Stephen E. Ambrose's fault, if I'm honest. But yeah, that's everything for me. Take care, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!